Hi, this is Dr. Neil Schwartz. I have another amazing case for you today. This is a young man who has had several years of severe acne. He's had cysts, he's had medium-sized bumps, he's had small ones, he has oily skin. Um, he was emotionally affected by it and doing the best he could to get through. But um, obviously the acne was winning. This is him on day one. And I want to show you just in a full evaluation of how you can it's when you see a, a situation like this it's very distracting there's a lot of things catching your eye I'd like to break it down so you know what's going on in a case in the before shot so let's let's break down some of the components of what we're what we're witnessing here you have the um, the bigger bumps we'll just call those bumps there's no need for technical terms when we're talking about acne it's, it's a very popular condition so many people have it we'll just use very easy language language that's easy to understand so we have the bumps here they're inflamed. They're red and hot and warm, and there's inflammatory changes going on on every bump. Then you have the dark marks here. You have them from old bumps, and after a bump flattens and heals, you oftentimes get dark marks. Sometimes they're very dark, sometimes they're slightly dark, sometimes they're just flat and red. Those we'll call marks. And then you have your three dimensional grooves and cuts and wear, what I would call wear and tear. And, um, that comes from the prior inflammation as well. So all this inflammation that we see is what creates the marks and the, and the scars or the wear and tear. So you have bumps, marks, and wear and tear. You also have oiliness, thickened skin, um, sometimes seborrheic dermatitis or just thickened, greasy, scaly skin that you get in the very oily areas. You can have dilated pores. You can have some blackheads in here. You see through here, he's got the blackheads as well. Um, and that's how you would evaluate a very difficult case of acne. This, this patient had already been to several dermatologists, has already, had already taken oral antibiotics and failed them. He had already been on every topical routine. Most of the patients that come to see me have already failed everything, multiple rounds of doctors and every over-the-counter product. This is the before shot, and let's see, four months later I have his after shot here. And you can see, if you know how to look at acne type skin, the activity has completely diminished. And I'll break that down for you too. Notice here, all the oil and the new red bumps. You also see a little bit of grooving where some of the red bumps just were or where they were in the past. And you see some of the three dimensional scarring, but what's blatant here is the activity. And watch what happens in the after shot you have the oils completely gone, amazingly gone. I mean, this, this skin looks very comfortable. He's comfortable, he's emotionally healed, and all you're seeing what's left is that third thing we spoke about, which is the wear and tear. You don't even see that many dark marks. Here's, you see a red mark, flat red mark that was it used to be a bump, but that's still healing. But if you look over here, this area has all healed. And we'll zoom in just to show you how different it is to have active skin and inactive skin that just shows some of the wear and tear. And you can fix some of this wear and tear years later, um, or even months in the, and within the year or two years. It smooths out over time, and also you can do invasive and non-invasive procedures to fix it up. We have non-invasive techniques to soften that up as well. But let me just show you. This oil here is about as oily as, as anyone's ever seen skin. You, you can see that it's really active, really shiny, those bumps are really hot and bothered, and it looks very uncomfortable. The nose and the crease looks very uncomfortable. Let's take a look at the after from this close. Look at the, the crease of the nose. There's, the oil's gone. The nose is completely different texture. Let's see, those blackheads are gone, but look how active, look how uncomfortable this must be. This is, keep in mind, he just took a shower this morning and used acne medications this morning and still came to my office like this. That's what's incredible, is the amount of effort that acne patients are putting in, and they're still dealing with so much activity on the face. Um, look, what we're noticing visually are just three-dimensional wear and tear scars. This is not active skin. If, in fact, if you were to put your finger across the skin, this would be silky smooth without any grease or stick to it at all. It just, it's absolutely amazing where this has gone to. So, this is an incredible case. Um, let's move on. So that's, that's four months later. Here's the other side. Um, watch, 
you can see this is a very serious case of acne. The, the bumps are large. Um, I just call it severe. It's got everything going on here. Small bumps, little bumps, large bumps. He's got blackheads. He's got dilation. He's got oil. He's got a little bit of seborrheic dermatitis in the nose. He's got thickened skin. It's And he's been trying everything to beat it, and he's really suffering. Let's take a look at the after. This is four months later. And now see if your eye can pick up the difference between wear and tear and active acne. There is no more activity or minimal to, to zero activity. It's very, very minimal. And um, he looks amazing here. You can imagine he's much happier having that grease off his face, having those, those bumps off his face. And these, this wear and tear doesn't doesn't even bother him anymore. He's just kind of letting it fade. And over time, you can work on that as well. And time will also soften that up. Look at the texture of the nose and the crease here. Let's take a closer look at what is going on with this nose. Look at this. Look at this texture change that happens here. Let's take a close and look at this jawline. This is this is heavy activity here. Look how many bumps he has here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Take a close look. Take a close look at all these little bumps. Watch this on the after four months later. You can almost, you have trouble finding even one bump. It's really excellent, excellent result here. So, the question remains, people ask me, can cystic acne be treated without oral medications? That's the question I posed to the public four years ago, and I'm posing it again to you now, this time showing you yet another severe case of acne completely transformed topically. There are many physicians in the world right now who will adamantly state Severe acne cannot be beat topically efficiently. I believe this, this stance is being held because they're working from an outdated algorithm and they are, have not seen this entire project. If your doctor tells you that cystic acne can only be beaten with any type of oral medication or that it's an internal problem that can only be beaten from the inside, what I would recommend you do is show them this video gallery including the severe cases and let them know what's going on right now without oral medications and have them feel free they can call me anytime and I can tell them what is now possible in the world of acne um, show these videos to anyone you know who's still suffering from acne who thinks their case is special as I always say when I'm doing these videos the mission of this video project the only mission the main mission, actually there's many missions, but the main mission is to prove what is possible with acne without oral medications. That is the point of the project. As I always say, there are many ways to get to this result. The way I'm doing it in, in the home version boot camp program and the, the office version that we were doing before is an efficient way to do it. It's one of many ways. If anyone you know or yourself has ever had the thought that my case is untreatable, my case is special, my case is different, my case is worse. If, that, if those emotional thoughts have ever crossed your mind, you're also suffering from a new condition we call hopelessness. Hopelessness in itself is a condition. Anyone who still questions whether their case is um, treatable, I think the key is to watch the entire video gallery. This is now another addition, another incredible transformation in, um, in what's possible. If you have any questions, you can call me anytime at the office. We're, go we're doing the home version now, primarily, and I'm opening up affiliate centers you know, every couple months around the country and eventually around the world. And I'll be here. This project and practice and this mission is 
has just really begun. You're going to see the rest of the world get on board with this optimism. And as predicted years ago, there will be no more needless suffering. People who suffer, we want them to, we want them to not be suffering from things that are treatable. Acne has always been treatable. It always will be treatable. Um, it just needed to be proven so that people don't fall into the trap of hopelessness. And that's what the project did. It proved that acne is treatable. Without oral medications, you can do it with as well, but you don't need them. And every patient and doctor needs to know that. Please show this case to your doctor and show all the cases to your doctor. And if they have any questions, they can call me anytime. All right? Take care. I'll be around, and uh, we'll get some more adventure videos going soon.